Nanoelectronics is the field of study at the intersection of physics, material science, and electronics, all operating at the nanoscale. But what exactly is nanoelectronics? Well, it's the use of nanotechnology in electronic components, dealing with dimensions and tolerances of less than 100 nanometers. The scope of nanoelectronics is wide, encompassing various aspects of technology, right from the design and construction of electronic circuits and components, to the creation of materials and simple circuits that can be used in novel ways. The significance of nanoelectronics is profound. Its potential to revolutionize industries from computing to medicine makes it a highly sought-after field of research. Now let's take a brief look at the historical development of nanoelectronics. The journey began in the early 20th century with the discovery of quantum mechanics, which provided the theoretical foundation for the field. Fast forward to the mid-20th century when the invention of the transistor marked a major milestone. The advent of integrated circuits in the late 20th century paved the way for the miniaturization of electronic components, leading us to the era of nanoelectronics. In this realm, concepts such as quantum mechanics and nanoscale materials play vital roles. Quantum mechanics allows us to understand the behavior of particles at the nanoscale, while nanoscale materials, with their unique electronic properties, are the building blocks of nanoelectronic devices. That's our introduction to nanoelectronics, a field that combines the principles of physics, materials science, and electronics at the nanoscale. As we venture further, we'll uncover the fundamental principles of nanoelectronics, explore the diverse devices and applications, and take a peek into the future of this promising field. So let's get started on this exciting journey. Now, we explore the fundamental principles that govern nanoelectronics. Nanoelectronics is a new field, largely governed by the principles of quantum mechanics. These principles, once seen as abstract and esoteric, are now integral to our understanding of nanoelectronics. Let's start with tunneling. In the realm of the tiny, particles can tunnel through barriers that would be insurmountable at the macro scale. This tunneling effect is crucial to the functioning of nanoelectronic devices, enabling electrons to pass through barriers and creating the flow of current. Next, we have quantization. In the nanoscale world, energy isn't continuous but comes in discrete packets or quanta. This principle of quantization influences the behavior of electrons in nanoelectronic devices, affecting properties such as conductivity and resistance. And then, there's superposition, the ability of a particle to be in multiple states simultaneously. This principle opens the door to parallel computing and the development of quantum computers, where bits of information termed as qubits can exist in both states, 0 and 1 at the same time. But quantum mechanics is only half the story. The other half lies in the material science that underpins nanoelectronics. Here we find materials like carbon nanotubes, graphene, and quantum dots playing a key role. Carbon nanotubes, cylindrical molecules composed of a single layer of carbon atoms, are renowned for their strength, flexibility, and exceptional electrical properties. They are used in everything from transistors to chemical sensors. Graphene, a single layer of carbon atoms arranged in a two-dimensional honeycomb lattice, has taken the scientific world by storm. It's stronger than steel, yet incredibly lightweight, and conducts electricity better than copper. Its unique properties make it ideal for a variety of applications, including flexible electronic devices and high-speed transistors. Quantum dots, tiny semiconductor particles just a few nanometers in size, are another exciting material in nanoelectronics. Their size gives them unique optical and electronic properties, making them useful in a range of applications from solar cells to quantum computing. But how do we create these nanoscale materials and devices? This is where fabrication techniques come in. Broadly, these techniques can be divided into top-down and bottom-up approaches. Top-down methods like lithography start with a larger piece of material and carve out smaller structures. Bottom-up methods, on the other hand, build up structures atom by atom or molecule by molecule, as seen in techniques like self-assembly. These fundamental principles form the bedrock of nanoelectronics, guiding the design and functionality of nanoscale electronic devices. With the fundamentals in place, let's explore the devices and applications of nanoelectronics. First off, we have nanoscale transistors. Transistors, as you may know, are the building blocks of most electronic devices. They control the flow of electricity like a tap controls water. As we've moved from micro to nanotransistors, we've been able to pack more of these taps into a smaller space, 
leading to devices that are smaller, faster, and more energy efficient. However, this miniaturization isn't without its challenges. As transistors shrink, they become more susceptible to effects like quantum tunneling, where electrons can essentially leap through barriers they shouldn't be able to. Researchers are finding ways around these problems though with solutions ranging from new materials like graphene to novel designs that manipulate quantum effects to our advantage. Next, let's talk about memory storage. You might be familiar with flash memory which is used in devices like USB drives and SSDs. Flash memory works by storing electrons in a floating gate where they can remain for years without power. However, as we push towards smaller scales, we run into similar problems as with transistors. Quantum effects start to interfere, and it becomes harder to keep the electrons where we want them. That's where phase change memory comes in. Instead of storing electrons, phase change memory works by changing the physical state of a material from crystalline to amorphous, each of which has a different electrical resistance. This allows us to store data in a way that's less affected by miniaturization, and could potentially replace flash in the future. Finally, we come to sensors and actuators. These are devices that can detect or manipulate their environment, and they're used in everything from biosensors that monitor glucose levels to nanorobots that could one day perform surgery. At the nanoscale, these devices can be incredibly sensitive and precise. For example, nanoscale chemical sensors can detect single molecules, providing an unprecedented level of detail in fields like environmental monitoring or disease diagnosis. Meanwhile, nanorobots could potentially be controlled with such precision that they could manipulate individual atoms. Of course, this is just the tip of the iceberg. Nanoelectronics is a vast field with applications in everything from computing to medicine, energy to communications. And as we continue to explore the nanoscale, who knows what new devices and applications we'll discover. From memory storage to sensors, nanoelectronics is at the heart of a wide range of devices and applications, pushing the boundaries of what's possible. Next, we turn to the exciting field of computational nanoelectronics. At the heart of computational nanoelectronics lies the intricate process of simulation and modeling. These tools are fundamental in predicting the behavior of nanoelectronic devices and systems. With the help of advanced software, scientists are now able to model complex nanoelectronic structures and simulate their electronic properties. This not only gives us an understanding of how these systems work, but also provides a pathway to design and optimize new nanoelectronic devices. Simulation and modeling tools use principles of quantum mechanics and material science to predict the behavior of nanoscale electronic systems. From quantum dots to nanowires, these tools use mathematical models to represent the physical phenomena that occur at the nanoscale. They allow us to study the electronic properties of nanoscale materials such as their conductivity, resistivity, and magnetism. By tweaking the parameters of these models, we can simulate different conditions and observe their effects on the nanoelectronic system. Moving on, let's talk about quantum computing, a domain that has been making waves in the technological world. Quantum computing operates on the principles of quantum mechanics, harnessing the power of quantum bits or qubits to perform complex calculations at an unprecedented speed. Unlike classical bits, which can be either zero or one, qubits can exist in both states simultaneously, thanks to the principle of superposition. This allows quantum computers to process vast amounts of information in parallel, opening up a world of possibilities for data processing and encryption. Now you might be wondering what role does nanoelectronics play in the development of quantum computers? Well, it's quite pivotal. Nanoelectronics provides the foundation for creating and manipulating qubits. For instance, superconducting circuits which operate at the nanoscale are being used to create qubits in some of the most advanced quantum computers today. Similarly, spintronics, a field that exploits the spin of electrons at the nanoscale, holds promise for the creation of stable and scalable qubits. However, it's not all smooth sailing. Quantum computing faces several challenges, from maintaining qubit coherence to managing quantum noise. But here too, nanoelectronics comes to the rescue. Through techniques such as error correction and quantum control, nanoelectronics is helping to address these challenges, pushing us closer to the reality of practical quantum computers. In conclusion, computational nanoelectronics is an exciting field that combines the principles of quantum mechanics, material science, and computer science. It empowers us with the tools to understand and manipulate the world at the nanoscale, opening up new possibilities in the realm of electronics. In this digital age, Computational nanoelectronics is a key player, 
enabling us to design and understand complex nanoelectronic devices and systems. As we conclude, let's look ahead to the future of nanoelectronics. The canvas of nanoelectronics is vast and constantly evolving, with a plethora of potential future applications and developments that could reshape our world. One such area is energy harvesting, where nanoelectronics can play a pivotal role. Imagine a world where tiny nanodevices could capture and convert wasted energy from the environment into usable electricity. From solar cells to thermoelectric devices, nanoelectronics could redefine how we generate and consume energy, making our world more sustainable and efficient. But the potential of nanoelectronics extends beyond just energy. It also promises to revolutionize the field of healthcare. Imagine neural interfaces that can communicate directly with the brain using nanoscale electronic components. These interfaces could potentially help restore vision, hearing, or mobility to those who have lost these abilities. Moreover, they could offer new avenues for understanding and treating neurological disorders, from Alzheimer's to epilepsy. And let's not forget the exciting realm of flexible electronics. Picture a world where your smartphone can bend without breaking, or where your clothes can monitor your health. These are not mere flights of fancy, but real possibilities brought forth by nanoelectronics. Flexible electronics could transform our everyday objects from wearable devices to bendable screens, making them more adaptable and user-friendly. In addition to these, there are numerous other areas where nanoelectronics could bring about significant advancements. From quantum computing that could solve complex problems in seconds, to nanorobots that could perform delicate surgeries, the potential applications of nanoelectronics are limitless. However, as with any emerging technology, there are challenges to be overcome. These include issues related to fabrication, scaling, and integration of nanoelectronic devices, as well as the need for new theoretical models and simulation tools. But these obstacles are not insurmountable. With ongoing research and technological advancements, we are inching closer to realizing the full potential of nanoelectronics. It's also worth noting that the future of nanoelectronics is not just about the technology itself, but also about its societal impact. As nanoelectronics becomes more pervasive, it will raise important ethical, legal, and social issues that need to be addressed. From data privacy concerns to the potential for digital divide, the future of nanoelectronics will require us to navigate these complex issues with care and foresight. Finally, as we look to the future, let's remember that the story of nanoelectronics is not just about tiny devices, but about big ideas. It's about pushing the boundaries of what's possible, about reimagining our world at the nanoscale. It's about the spirit of innovation and discovery that drives us forward, that makes us strive for a better, more technologically advanced world. With its endless possibilities, the future of nanoelectronics is indeed bright, promising technological advancements that will revolutionize our world.